Welcome to week 12 of Head to Head presented by Ziegler Meats. I'm Kevin Skarbinski. And I'm Lauren Sisler. Auburn back at home getting ready for that big matchup against Alabama A&M. Big, define big. Well, Kevin, it is big because Auburn is hosting another in-state school, Alabama A&M. Great opportunity for them to come back, close out their season on the Plains. But what's really big are the injuries. We earlier talked about it being not the injury bug, not the injury virus, but more like the injury infection. Right now it is infecting the entire offense. Sean White, Stanton Truitt, Cam Petway. The list goes on and on and on. These guys got to get rested for the Iron Bowl. It is just astounding how many guys Auburn has hurt, especially in the backfield. The backfield alone. Your starting quarterback clearly re-injured his shoulder against Georgia. Everyone saw that, I guess, but the Auburn coaches and trainers. And then Cam Petway was out. He's not going to play this week for sure. We don't know about Sean White. It makes no sense to play him this week. This is a week either to see if you can get something out of John Franklin III. Clearly, they didn't trust him last week at Georgia. Or make a nice gesture to Jeremy Johnson. Let him play his last home game at Auburn as a senior. It is senior day. And kind of a nod. He's been a good teammate. He's been a good leader. He's been encouraging to the other guys, even though he hasn't played. And we've barely seen him. Although we did notice on the sideline at Georgia, hey, he's growing a beard. Okay, Kevin, it is prediction time. I, however, will not be making a score prediction today because on Saturday I'll be on the sidelines covering the game for SEC Network. Looking forward to that opportunity. How about you give us your score? Well, it should be a name that score game for Auburn as well, but we have no idea who's going to play quarterback, who's going to play running back, who's healthy enough to do any of those things. So it's kind of hard to pick a score. But what, one thing we do know about this Auburn team, they're going to play defense. They've been outstanding all year on that side of the ball. It's senior day, the last time you'll see a guy like Montrevious Adams in Jordan-Hare Stadium. What an incredible season he's had. He was a monster against Georgia. He and the entire defense deserves better than to be 7-3 and three at this point. So Auburn will win this game probably, I don't know, 41-3. to three. Lauren, as you said, kudos to Auburn for even playing this game. Look, everyone plays cupcakes, but if you're going to do it, why not choose one from the local menu? Unlike another program in the state we could name, this is a place where Auburn wins and Alabama loses by being a good neighbor. 